A weathered bench, battered timbers, and overgrown vegetation are all that's left of this historic pergola which overlooked a canyon in Balboa Park. And now our cash-strapped city wants you to foot the $400,000 bill to rebuild it. Built in 1924, the pergola was an entryway to the park until it collapsed during a storm in 2004. Neighbors rallied to rebuild it and even offered to pay for it until they learned how much it was going to cost. I spoke with builders who specialize in pergolas, and they agreed the cost is outrageous. We asked the city to explain. This isn't something that you would build at your house. You don't, people don't usually put 12 by 12 beams. You don't have retaining walls with 10 foot wide footings and 12 foot high walls. Uh, you don't have to excavate the entire thing out. There'll be a large excavator that'll have to come out. We'll have to get special permitting and traffic control to store the dirt up here while we're working on it. There's just a lot more details in replicating something than you would normally get if you were just building something in your backyard. This structure is as wide as some people's whole lot. And then the other thing that, that was brought up was you know, why does this wall need to be replaced? And, and the reason we know it needs to be replaced is because when we did our analysis of it, we took cores, we actually drilled holes in the wall, and checked the rebar inside and found that it was deteriorating. So we believe the steel inside this wall is no longer providing the support that would be necessary in an earthquake. I know that we're gonna spend at least $100,000 on the wall. Looking at it, the $300,000 mark does not seem to be way out of line. It's a good start for a project at this phase. And we will refine that and I hope everyone in the neighborhood's right, and it's much, much cheaper. Because then we will take this money and it'll roll into another park project somewhere else. The city council has already approved $350,000 for the project. Where the rest of the money will come from remains to be seen. Read the full story in the Union Tribune and on Sign on San Diego.